Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the guide where today we will be taking a look at a vehicle which in my opinion is the best special vehicle in the game. This Benson has an exclusive color, an exclusive shine, bulletproof tires and what I think is the coolest of all, totally unique ads which you can never see outside of Jewel Heist. Surprisingly, this is also the latest vehicle to ever become obtainable. It's not even a year old as such and was always just an inaccessible truck to be desired. Now we can all have it though and if you wanna know how, I'm gonna explain this right away. I would like to remind you though that what I show in my videos does not work with mission replays. You need to be progressing with the actual story to get this vehicle. Ironically, despite this truck being very fresh and new in the special vehicle arsenal, it is actually really easy to get, it can be obtained with any heist setup and with any crew. However, there still is one vital piece of preparation work needed to get the truck. You need to have a dozer saved in Michael's garage. Only a dozer and nothing else since we want to keep that garage empty later on. Easiest way to get the dozer is from the random event called construction accident. You can simply keep one after it's passed and it is the closest location to Michael's house anyways for this ultra slow piece of machinery. Franklin's interior garage should also be bought and one spot free in there since we have to store the Benson here later on. If you start the heist and make your way outside, you will surely notice a green Benson filled with your father's meds for the upcoming Friday night. However, this particular variant of Benson is not what we are after, since it does not have bulletproof tires. It is though a good kind of inferior vehicle, so later, once we have covered a better variant of this truck, I'll get back to this one. For now, you wanna simply progress with the heist like you're used to, until you are riding in a sewer with your bike. Once you jump out of the sewer, you will see the correct Benson truck, the one we came here for. Before we go any further, I'd like to show you how the special shines look on the truck. Despite a high number of possible shines, there are actually only 3 shines you can get since a crap ton of them are just duplicates. White is in my opinion the coolest one to get, but since the truck cannot enter the mod shop, all of those are equally special, so if you like the black shine or brown shine instead, be my guest. Now, to change those shines, you have to just fail the mission any way you like and hit retry as long as you see the shine which is pleasant to you. Now, since you are using a retry option to change shines, it can be very annoying and luck based to change them, so make sure to back up some patience before trying this. Once you have the correct shine, simply defend the crew from cops like you're supposed to until they are all taken out. Once the hacker says that all cops are in the bag, you can for some reason abandon the crew without the heist failing. We can now safely drive all the way to Michael's house where we can meet our dozer. Now, the next part is in my opinion the most difficult one with this Benson. You have to flip the truck on the side using a dozer. Flipping is important since this is the only way that Benson can fit in the garage. Just a fun fact, you can in fact pull the hacker out like nothing, but it's not actually needed. What is needed though is parking your dozer and Benson pretty much like I do and placing a small car under the garage door so it stays open. When attempting to flip the Benson, try to be rather gentle than aggressive. Vehicles in GTA 5 like to fall back on their wheels, which can be a bit annoying to deal with. But once the Benson is on the side, you have to be fast and push the truck in the garage with the dozer, as quick as you can, since the mission can fail you for truck being stuck. And you want to avoid this, since hitting retry will mean there is no longer a dozer in the garage. So try to be focused, but fast, and get the truck in the garage. If the back end stays out like it did for me in the video, there is nothing to worry about since it will still get saved. Just ram the Benson until it says that truck got destroyed or wait until it says that truck got stuck. After it you are free to hit retry or restart if you want to get a gold medal and pass the heist completely. Now I know you don't like that idea, but before you go to Michael's house to check on the Benson, save the game as Franklin. If you did everything correctly it will be in the garage and you don't have to double check if it's there. And trust me, you wouldn't even want to do this once you see what happens to that large truck in Michael's garage. <laughs> 
Load the save up and now keep going to Michael's garage as Franklin and pray that the Benson flies out of there in a drivable condition. This is not what usually happens though. Most of the time this is what you will see. Or this. If those kinds of things happen, you can't really do anything but load your save again, which shows why was the initial quick save so important. However, if something like this happens, you can simply reverse away from the garage, Benson will still get saved again, and you can simply drive closer again without loading a save file and try again. If the game world should turn invisible around Michael's yard when you get inside the Benson, then don't be scared because this is for some reason completely normal. Once the truck is finally popping out properly, get inside it and drive to Franklin's interior garage. Surprisingly, although this is a truck, it can enter the garage normally, so no truck storing tricks are needed. Once it is inside, get out of the garage and your task to get the best vehicle in the game is practically done. You can save the game and whenever you go to Franklin's garage, you will see the Benson in all of its glory. Now, when I say the best vehicle in the game, I actually mean the enhanced version of the game for one specific reason. Since this truck can enter the garage normally, it can actually be converted into an indestructible form, which makes this the only truck in the game that can be converted. And who doesn't like screwing around in traffic with your big truck and ramming traffic around? However, this is all suggested in later stages of the game, since indestructible vehicles can only be saved in safe houses, and this Benson can fit to strip club only, which is unlocked fairly late. Aside from all that, this Benson is matte green, which is very unique since you can never find a green Benson from traffic, let alone the one which is matte. Then it has the special shine, and most importantly, ads that say pop spills, which is exclusive to Jewel Heist as stated before already. So if you don't really like the vehicles in GTA 5, this truck is surely something you should get. What is more, this truck has bulletproof tires, which are effective against bullets, fire and police stingers. What I also like about this truck is that it's rather fast, by both acceleration and top speed, which are far better than most big vehicles in the game. Now if you're playing the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 or PS3, you cannot save bulletproof tires of this truck since it needs to be saved in the safe house in the progress, and that unfortunately deletes the resistance in those versions. For all later versions though, bulletproof tires will get saved as they should. Now, the Benson from before, which has no bulletproof tires, period. If you have the bulletproof tires variant, you can never convert it to have non-bulletproof tires, so maybe someone likes to get a truck with no bulletproof tires, so I will have to tell you how it's done. First of all, you will again need the dozer in the garage like before, and this specific Benson can only be saved from the smart approach, so consider that as well. Start the heist and burst all tires of the Benson, since this is the only way that Benson fits into Michael's garage. If you want to change special shines, fail and retry the mission until they change. Drive to Michael's garage and grab the dozer, and then use it to push the primo about where I show. Then hang around at this spot until the Benson arrives. Now you need to be quick and push the Benson to Michael's garage while also keeping Primo nearby so you don't fail the mission. Although the dozer is slow as hell, it's surprisingly a most efficient vehicle for pushing, even compared to trucks. 
When you reach Michael's house you have to park a small car under the garage door again so it stays open and push the Benson inside. All this has to be done before the clock reaches 7pm since that fails the mission. If you succeed, wait for 7pm and if the mission fails, retry or restart the heist and pass it like normal. Rest is identical to what you did for the bulletproof tires variant. You have to go check on it until it flies out from Michael's garage and then save it to Franklin's interior garage. However, in versions where you can't have bulletproof tires, I still suggest picking the bulletproof tires way of obtaining this truck, since it's still easier. Even if you can teleport inside the Benson in those early versions and don't have to push the truck with the dozer, it is still annoying and besides, there is a time requirement. Meanwhile in the better method, you have all the time you need and the only issue is flipping the Benson which takes just a few minutes max. So even if you lose the bulletproof tires with the first method, I still suggest using it for all versions and ignore the second one, unless you literally hate bulletproof tires in later versions. For the end of this video I would like to rate this vehicle slightly annoying and only because of changing shines and the dozer part, both of which can be annoying. Apart from that though, this truck is basically the best truck in the game, seriously unique, exclusive, special, whatever you wanna call it and I highly suggest getting it in your sale. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.